All right, welcome back to season three of our show. Today, it's pork roast. We're frying it up. We're gonna show you how to get this seasoned up and fry it up. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so it's pork roast and we're frying it up. Let's show you how to get this ready for the fryer. So right here we have a five pound piece of pork roast. Now this is tied up from the butcher, so the first thing we're gonna do is untie it and get our strings off. Now if you take this entire thing and throw it into the fryer, it certainly won't fry up. So we're gonna cut it down in smaller pieces so we can marinate it. And a lot of people have no idea that you could even do this to this piece of meat. So we're just gonna start cutting it down. I'm gonna put this off to the side. And these are the size pieces that you want. Just like this. And just cut through. And all that fat that's in here, you can keep that fat. It's gonna fry down. So we're just gonna cut them into cubes like this. And into the basket they go. So now a lot of the straggly fat like this, we can get rid of that. If you see it on there, pieces like that, we can kind of get rid of that too. And get this out of here. Let me just switch my knife out. I'm gonna use this one. A bit easier to handle. And show you guys at the same time. And just cube them up, just like that. And just be careful as you take these little stragglies off like that. And just, that's the way your pieces should look. So let's just cut up just a couple of pieces more. And when we get this all cut up, we're gonna meet you right back here. So just take off a lot of that fat. And the bigger pieces of fat on here, you could just leave that, like that. Just leave it right on there. And that's kind of where you want it. All right, we're gonna get the cutting at this and we're gonna meet you right back here. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, our pork roast is cut up. Now, take a look at that. I just want you to see the size pieces that are here, and I want you to see all that beautiful fat that's in here, and that's what you want. You wanna keep that fat. So now we're gonna cut up some limes, and we're gonna marinate this. Overnight it goes. I got some limes, I rolled them out just so I get maximum juice. You see that juice coming out of there? And I'm just gonna start squeezing some of these limes in. get all that juice out of them. Now I wash the outside of these limes and once you get all the juice out of these limes, just drop the whole thing right in there. Because the outside of the lime, the lime zest, is gonna flavor this as well too. So just get maximum juice out of there and drop it. Probably gonna go with about four of these today. Just to see how much juice comes out of here. Five pound roast, you wanna put anywhere from three to four of these. And these are juicy limes. I think I'm gonna end it there. You don't need much. Now what's the lime for? It's gonna bring in flavor and tenderize that pork. So I'm gonna get this off to the side. I'm gonna go in with some oregano. You're gonna need a good amount of this. So let's just give this a spin in here. And mix it up. You can smell this already. This smells fantastic, that lime in there. That lime is gonna really bring in some flavor in there as well too. All right, let's get some more oregano in there. And I also made a rub here, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. 
It's a Hungarian paprika and some cayenne pepper. That is what's in this rub. That's all you're going to need. And get a good amount of it in there. Now, once you start putting your rub in, just give it a turn. You're really not going to get it in there really good until you put a little oil in it and just oil it up. Now we're not frying this in a batter or anything, we're frying this in fat, beef fat. That's what we're going with this today to get some more flavor in here. And the reason why I'm not frying in pork fat is because I have beef fat available. All right, there we go. And get a good douse of that in there. I'm gonna get a little more rub in there. And I'm gonna save my salt to last. No salt in any of the rubs. So you guys that normally watch your videos, you know that I don't put any salt in the rubs. And that's diamond kosher salt that we're using in here. Anytime I use kosher salt, that's what I use, the diamond. All right, so we're going in now with some salt. Make it yours. You can put as much or a little as that if you want in there. I'm gonna mix some more. And don't forget, you can always put salt on your food afterwards, so don't over salt it because you'll ruin the dish. So I'm gonna go with a couple more pinches. One more little pinch on top, actually two more, and that's it. Now I'm gonna bring my oil in. Now I'm using just a little bit of olive oil just to bring these flavors together. I marinate it better. Because once you put the oil in, the powder is going to mix better. You got the lemon juice in there and you can just see it already. You can see it just mixing in better. It's not going to have that powdery feel on it. And it's going to get that nice marinade mixed in better. If you use the powder alone, you'll see it. It's just powdery. So I'm going to add just a drop more oil. Just like that, and that's all you need. You don't need much of it. And just mix it in. When you see all that outer go away, you're good to go. Just like that. All right, now we have this marinated. Let's get this into a bag. This is gonna marinate overnight. You can go about three hours if you want, but I like it overnight. It's going to soften that meat up too. If you go less than that and you go out for an hour or you just do this immediately, your meat's going to be tough. You don't want that to happen. Take it from me. I've done it. And uh, it's amazing how different it is if you marinate it overnight. So make sure you at least go overnight with it. And if you can't go overnight, Eight hours minimum on this dish. All right, I'm gonna get this in the fridge overnight and we'll meet you back here the next day. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, so our pork is marinated. We got some oil heated up. I got that at 375. We're going in with it. So now I'm using my basket. And I want to use my basket because I don't want this to go over on me. And I don't want to put my hands in here for all these little tiny pieces. So this is where you want to use a basket. And just use a little bit of this. Don't use a lot. So I'm going to drop it and see where I'm at. Now, if this oil was to go over, I can pull it back up. But I'm going down with it like that. And you'll see the bubbles rise to the top. See so it come to the top, so be very careful frying. 
you don't want this to go over. Let me put my blower on. You don't want this to go over, that's why I did that. And if it was gonna go over, I would just pull it back out of here. So once you drop it down, you can see all those bubbles come up to the top. It holds a lot of water, so this is gonna overflow your fryer. That's why you wanna make sure you put in just a little bit at a time. All right, I'm gonna fry this up. We're gonna meet you right back here, so we'll stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're frying for about three minutes now, and I'm gonna show you this. Beautiful, right? That's how you want that to look, but we want to go even more because we want these to be nice and tender. So back down we go. When they're ready, we'll pull these out and we'll show them to you. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're about 10 minutes in. And these take a while to fry, so don't think you're going to get out of here early. When they start to float, you've got to get all that moisture out of here. That fat's going to get crispy and you'll have an excellent product. So just want to show you that. And you're also going to want to rock this back and forth just to keep your oil moved around. Just like that, you'll rock it back and forth a couple of times. And that's it. We'll meet you back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, 13 minutes, our first batch is done. So you're going to take them out, let them mellow out a second, let some of that grease drain off. Over here, I have a drain board just a couple of pieces of paper towel on it. Drain it very well. And just drop them on the drain board. There you have it. Now some of them will stick to the bottom. Just take your tongue and just pull them out. There we go. I'm going to get the frying up the rest of these. I'm going to meet you right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, last batch. Out of the fryer, just like that. And we're going to add just a little bit of salt. There you have it. That's it. All right. We're going to meet you under the table to plate up. Don't go anywhere. All right, here we are, season three, fried pork butt. Show you what we did. Look at those guys. Now, they look dark, but they're actually extremely tender. Let's just get one of these guys. They're still a little warm, but I'm just going to break into one of these and show you what we got going on here. So you can, ooh, it's a little bit hot but you can just pull it right apart, just like that. And it's nice and fatty, almost tastes like a piece of bacon. Let's give that a shot. That's addicting. You guys be careful with this one. That'll hurt you. That's, it's excellent. All right, let's show you how to get this plated up. Now what I usually do I take these guys like this, and I'll put them right into a bowl like this. Because we do eat with our eyes, and presentation is everything. So let's get them all in here. Just like that. Now we want something to brighten these up, right? So let's get this out. And let's get this onto the to the block. So we're gonna go in with the little mix we made. Now we made some jalapeno, we're gonna drop those in. If you guys don't like jalapenos, you don't have to have that in there. But this is how you would do this mix. If you guys have a game or a party over the house, this is a great mix. And it just makes it for a very beautiful presentation. So let's get that nice onion in there. And just sprinkle it all around. Mix it in. Just like that. A couple more jalapeno in there. Some nice fresh spicy jalapeno that goes great with this. And lime gets sprinkled on the top of here. So 
we can hit that with just a little lime on the top like that. A little lime juice. This lime juice on this fried pork is beautiful and it's gonna cut through all that rich fat. So let's just put a lime there and get them on each side just like that. So now you got your presentation down pat. Just get a little bit more onion in there. So now that you have that, we're going to move this off to the side. And now it's time to plate up. So we made some beautiful beans. They're pinto beans with unduly sausage at the side. So we got some white rice on the plate. And we're just gonna put some of this beautiful Dooley sausage in here. It's got some Swiss chard. And just a beautiful plate. We're gonna leave a link for this one. This way you guys can see this one being done. And this one is definitely a must watch. So we just got to get that onto the plate, just like that. We'll bring that over. And now it's time to make up a smaller of that bigger plate. So we're going to move this off to the side, just like that. And we might garnish this one just with a couple of jalapenos on top like that. Keep it simple. And now let's plate up with some of this beautiful pork nugget. For you guys that thought you could never fry pork butt, let me know in the comments if you've ever seen this before. I'm pretty well traveled and uh, I've maybe seen this twice in my life. All right, so. Let's get some of that onion onto the plate, just like that. And we're going to throw some jalapeno in the mix there, just like that. That's where you have that, and that's how that gets served. This is very rich, so you're going to definitely need something to cut through all that rich fat. It's almost like eating bacon without all that bacon taste and flavor in there. This is a beautiful one. So let's get some limes onto there. And this is how I will plate that, just like that. Get some limes onto the plate. Very simple. Let's just bring this over. And I think we'll go like that. This is where we're not blocking the show. And there it is. Fried pork butt. All right, we're gonna get organized. We're gonna meet you guys right back here, so stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, and there it is. Deep fried pork butt. Fried to perfection and seasoned beautifully. Along with that, we have some pinto beans when unduly sausage. We're gonna leave a link to that in the description. That's why you guys get to check that out too. Thank you. We enjoyed you coming. And with no further ado, gotta get that little pit master taste.